Hello and welcome. It's, uh, I'm trying to get myself set up here. So while I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing, I'll let Ellie sort of do an introduction. Oh. <laughs> That's the thing about live streaming. <laughs> um, good evening. It's Thursday, January the 28th, and uh, we're about to lead a hymn sing-along. Um, it's... Uh, a, a nice wide variety of hymns. Um, I was a little taken aback to realize that the newest of the hymns is actually 20 years old. And the one that I think of as a really modern hymn was written in 1969. And uh, that, that's actually a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes it is. We've got three people on right now. So welcome to all of you. Please feel free, and we'd certainly welcome you to uh, let us know that you are with us. Uh, put something in the comments saying who's, uh, who's joined us, so we can say hi. And uh, let us know if the accompaniment is loud enough. Uh, Gail Squires, of course, is our accompanist, um, represented here by a CD. <laughs> yes. oh, are you we're ready? Up to, sure, we're up to six. Oh, Janice is with us. Good evening, oh, Janice. Wonderful. I'll put that right there for now. So, shall we start with the first one? The first one is a very good place to start. <laughs> I think you know what I meant. <laughs> Why have I got the sound of music in my head now? I don't know. Oh, same here. Come and find the quiet center. Voices United, number 374. Yeah, Maureen's with us too. Wonderful. Now well, we'll have great harmony. <laughs> Come and find the quiet center In the crowded life we lead Find the room for hope to enter Find the frame where we are freed Clear the chaos and the clutter Clear our eyes that we can see all the things that really matter, be at peace and simply be. Silence is a friend who claims us, cools the heat and stills the pace. God it is who speaks and names us, knows our being face to face. Making us a face within our thinking, lifting shades to show the sun, raising courage when we're shrinking, finding scope for faith begun. In the spirit, let us travel, open to each other's pain. Let our loves and fears unravel, celebrate the space we gain. There's a place for deepest dreaming, there's a time for heart to care. In the slow rips, lively scheming, there is always room to spare. Oh, we've got Christopher Hoover with us and Tony, Tony Powell, Tony Hayes Powell commented. And Zane? Well, is Zane with her? She didn't say. We hope so. Yeah. Okay. I have a dog licking my elbow. So <laughs> little... Oh, well. <laughs> oh, Louise is there too. Welcome, Louise. Okay, this... Okay. Um, we're going to sing What a Friend We Have in Jesus. And I know that uh, Warner shared this story in church when we did a sort of history of hymns a number of years ago. Um, but I'd forgotten that it was written by an Irishman who was here in Canada living just north of Port Hope um, as a poem to comfort his mother who was very ill. And uh, he himself had a pretty awful time of it. He uh, his, his first fiance drowned accidentally the night before they were to be married and um, 
they had another fiance who died of pneumonia just before they were married. Yeah. So, well, just a few more things there. Um, Donna Coverdale's on as well, and Tony says no Zane tonight, but her dog Millie is watching with. Yay, Millie! <laughs> now Ridley, you yeah. behave. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we sing? Yes. Okay. a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. We do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrows share. Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Are we weak and heavy laden, cumbered with a load of Savior is our refuge. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Do our friends despise, forsake us? Are we tempted to despair? Jesus' strength will shield our weakness, and we'll find new courage there. To 11 viewers. Great. Participants. Participants. Yes, you're right. So, the next one is In the Bulb There is a Flower. If you have a Voices United, it's number 703. Um, or maybe you got the, uh, the sheets that uh, were sent out with the lyrics. Anything to say about this one? No. Okay. I love it though. Yes. It's we have Abby to the side here. She's preparing herself some, some food and uh, joining us in singing as, we, as she goes along. Moving things over to the apartment took longer than expected, so I'm yes. late to dinner. Yes. <laughs> All right. Infinity, 
in our doubts there is believing in our life eternity in our death the resurrection at the last a victory unrevealed until its season something God alone can see. Let us know how we're doing, if you're able to hear the, the accompaniment be, uh, behind our voices. Um, what you think of the, what you think of uh, Ellie's and Gail's song selection? <laughs> I tried to get one for that would be would have been sung by everyone in Sunday school at some point in their lives. Oh well. Yeah, and I think I succeeded with one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, there's Patty McDonald. Oh great! Hi, Patty. Okay, here's a rousing good olden. Yes. Will your anchor hold? If you had a Voices United, six hundred and seventy-five. your anchor hold in the storms of life when the clouds unfold their wings of strife when the strong tides lift and the cables strain will your anchor drift or firm remain we have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll Fastened to the rock which cannot move, grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. It is safely moored till the storm withstand, for it's well secured by the Savior's hand. And the cables passed from his heart to mine, can defy the blast through strength divine. We have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll. Fastened to the rock which cannot move, grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love. When our eyes behold through the gathering night the city of gold, our harbor bright, we shall anchor fast by the heavenly shore with the storms all past forevermore we have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll fastened to the rock which cannot move grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love A few nice comments from people about the, and uh, Maureen's wondering where Jane is. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she'll join us later. Okay. Here's as aerobic as we get. Oh yes. I'm singing like a rock. Shall we just go over the before we start singing it? Shall we go over the hand gestures for people? Yes, our wonderful, amazing, fabulous gift of a secretary sent out um, a video with. With people with, from from another church. Mm -hmm. that, uh, so some of the hand movements are a little different. And then actually as Warner and I were running through it, um, we realized we have slightly different hand motions. So you can do whatever <laughs> you want. <Yes. laughs> but. All right. So it starts, fist into your hand, like a rock, like a rock. God is under our feet. So you down with your hand, so off, uh, under your feet, under your feet. Like the starry night sky, God is over our head. Like the sun on the horizon, God is ever before. Like the river runs to ocean, our home is in God evermore. Got that? Let's not hit each other when yes. the sun rises. <laughs> Totally different motion for this 
I don't know. What did you? Oh, we do this. What do you do? Uh, I think we were doing that when I went to the youth group. Thing well, again, there's different well, motions. Abby's I, got I something like, else. I like but. this sunrise. <laughs> Things yep. that okay. okay. Abby's doing something else in the background. If you can't hear, I'm wondering. eating spaghetti. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, Adriana is with us too. Welcome, hey. Adriana. Okay. Um, Abby, could you let the dog out? Eventually. Yeah. Okay, she can thanks. wait. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Seeing that my hands sort of disappear off screen here, so that's okay. <laughs> no. Okay. And this one made me go back and look in my bookcase. Oh, because okay. it don't step on the handbook, really. <laughs> it's okay, happy. Okay. <laughs> Distractions anyway. in the house. <laughs> So this song was written in 1969, but I remember singing it in the early 70s, of course. Took a while for things to get to Kenora, Ontario. Anyway, at Longbow Lake Bible Camp, and I had, the, I wonder how many people out there may have had a copy of the New Testament called the Jesus Book. Warner, or, <laughs> Abby, there was a, it was a thing, it was the Jesus Movement, it was the time of... Godspell and Jesus Christ Superstar and uh, yeah, so, and it was a long time ago. <laughs> Janice apparently found uh, us our, uh, us very entertaining for that uh, like a rock. Oh, good. <laughs> well, good thing the sun didn't go that way. Yes. Okay. All right. So. All right, so we're going to be singing It Only Takes a Spark, or Pass It On. It only takes a spark to get a fire going, and soon all those around can warm up in it. Love, the 
has come to me, I want to pass it on. I'll shout it from the mountain top. I want my world to know the Lord of love has come to me. I want. see what oh <laughs> yes, I, I always do. think of that too the Chevy truck <laughs> yeah and it didn't seem before hi Susan it's great that you can be with us um, all right this next one is uh, not a new one no this one is a hundred years older than pass it on yeah wow <laughs> <laughs> and I was trying to read something of the history of it today uh -huh. and uh, th somebody made th somebody said something about the fact that you're in a small corner but the light is directed outwards more when you've got two walls behind you and I was just hmm. thinking um, that's so true we can direct our light out sure yes <laughs> and I know Janine sent out the the lyrics and talked about Pat Forsey teaching her this in oh, Sunday yes. school and holding up her finger as a light and like uh, we're all out there holding up our candles and I remember Yushiko Oshiro our Sunday school director hmm. at uh, First Baptist Church in Kenora teaching us that okay you want I've me to be quiet and sing no I'm just thinking I'm trying to think did I ever learn that with with this song or was that for uh, this little light of mine oh yeah yeah so Would but, you oh no <laughs> We're not singing that one though. Well, I think <laughs> I think that that our Sunday school teachers probably got our hands busy as often as they could. <laughs> Jesus bids us shine. It's number for those with, with voices united, it's five hundred eighty-five. Jesus bids us shine with a pure, clear light Like a little candle burning in the night In this world of darkness, so let us shine You in your small corner and I in mine Jesus bids us shine first of all for Him Well, He sees and knows it, if our light grows dim Jesus walks beside us to help us shine. You in your small corner and I in mine. Jesus bids us shine then for all around. Many kinds of darkness in the world around. Sin and want and sorrow, so we must shine. You in your small corner and I in Oh yes, it's it's interesting how these things come about, uh, Janice. Abby, so. do you want to get a chair behind her? Oh, sure. We're on our last song. Uh, what number is that one? Okay, okay. it's Voices United number two thirty-eight, okay. and that way I don't worry about sharing a little tiny sheet with you, Mum. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Oh, there's Korean. Do you play in French? <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> And we seem to be one verse short in the music. So I made the executive decision. And if I am wrong, I ran it through twice. And, yes. But if I am wrong, we'll uh, I apologize. It. But um, I decided to take out my... Oh, it bothers me that I took this out because it's, yeah. it's core to our Christian faith. But I really love verses 1, 2, and 4. And I couldn't especially leave out 4. So, um, so if you prefer other ones, go for it. <laughs> All right. You're at home, sing the verses you want. <laughs> so, oh Lord, my God, how great thou art. <clears throat>
I love this accompaniment, by the way, Gail. Is that like a violin? Or? I don't. Anyway, she's when, got all kinds of effects on her. Yeah, her, I really keyboard. love this. Greatest of all hymns. Barbara McDonald said a most beautiful hymn. Yes. And Gail's just. Oh. Oh, one more time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gail was saying that uh, violin on her keyboard. Ah, uh, yes. It's her favorite edition. And sorry about the missing verse. Her version only has three verses. Oh. Hmm. That's one of those things with a lot of these hymns. Uh, depending on which book you pick up, it's going to have something different going on. Well, and I really had trouble singing Mighty Thunder instead of Rolling Thunder. But that Baptist background of yours. Eh? <laughs> we roll. <laughs> well, I think that brings us to an end tonight. Yes. Abby, I'm so glad you could join us. Yes. And thank you to everyone who joined us tonight. That was wonderful. And uh, we're certainly going to keep doing this, I think. Um, I think we're getting enough response and people seem to really appreciate it. And uh, we enjoy doing it. 
It's fun. So, so uh, at some point in February, we'll, we'll do this again, eh? Yes, um, we will. Assuming everyone says yes. <laughs> well, not everyone. If a whole, if enough people say yes, absolutely, we'll be on for this again. And you know, there's a trend right now out there with sea shanties, so I think, will your anchor hold? We're right on point. Okay. <laughs> is there a sea shanty thing? Uh, oh, yes, dear, there is. I okay. There's something about sea shanties going around TikTok. I don't use TikTok. I, I've heard. I miss some things, apparently, on social media. That's okay. Anyways. So, you had something else to say? No. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. It's been wonderful to uh, have you join us for this. It's, we've had a great time doing this. I hope that comes across. And until uh, we gather again, go in peace and go with God. Amen.